18 years ago, one of the greatest games ever made was released on the Nintendo GameCube. In the time since, Resident Evil 4 has made its way onto other platforms, including virtual reality, and now it's coming to the current generation of consoles with a new yet familiar coat of paint. Here's everything you need to know about the remake of Resident Evil 4. If you played the original RE4, then you should have a pretty good idea of what to expect from the remake story. In Resident Evil 4, you play as Leon S. Kennedy, and you're on a mission to rescue the American president's daughter, Ashley Graham, from a mysterious cult called Los Illuminados. Ashley's whereabouts bring you to the rural outskirts of Spain, where villagers have become infected by Las Plagas, a parasite capable of mind control. This is far from an ideal welcome party, but fortunately, and also unfortunately for Mr. Kennedy, he is somewhat familiar with the spread of deadly viruses. This once upon a time rookie cop dealt with the T-Virus during the events of Resident Evil 2, another game that got the very popular remake treatment back in 2019. However, you won't be completely lost if you haven't played RE2, as the opening of Part 4 sees Leon dumping a bit of exposition on you. In the remake's version of this brief scene, Capcom takes the opportunity to flesh out Leon's character early on. In our hands-on preview with the game, Kurt Indovina wrote, quote, This intro creates weight and empathy for him that I hope is explored more in the game. And thankfully, that seems to be the case. According to Resident Evil 4 remake producer Yoshiaki Hirabayashi, Leon is struck with regrets from the Raccoon City incident, and while preserving the original game's story is the top priority, he indicated that Leon's experience from that fateful night will remain a common thread throughout. Now without getting into spoiler territory for those who haven't played the original, just know that you can look forward to some familiar faces like Ada Wong, Vitores Mendez, Ramon Salazar, and more. Resident Evil 4 is a third person survival horror game, and even though the remake is aiming to stay true to the gameplay of the original, Capcom has modernized a few things in order to bring the game up to today's standards. For example, the remake has incorporated trends like stealth, and there is more of an emphasis on survival this time around. This is counterbalanced by being able to sneak around, as well as craft ammunition and health items a la The Last of Us. Unlike the rather linear approach of the original, the remake is more expansive, giving the player more space to wander and explore areas off the beaten path. This freedom extends beyond land, as the new RE4 also gives you the opportunity to explore by motorboat outside of the Del Lago boss fight. Freely controlling the motorboat means you can traverse the watery depths of caverns and explore other areas entirely. Many of these areas seem to be gated off but can be accessed by solving small puzzles similar to the insignia puzzle seen only once outside of the village church in the original. But exploration isn't everything, and RE4's remake contains some changes to combat as well. For starters, executions have been added to the mix, and all you fans of Soulsborns might be happy to hear that your parrying skills will come into play during your time with RE4 Remake. Based on the gameplay we saw, just about anything can be parried with Leon's knife chainsaws, airborne torches, speeding arrows, or even the nasty tentacle claws of head erupted parasites. However, this hefty upgrade in functionality does not come without some compromises. Unlike the original, the knife now has a durability bar, akin to Resident Evil 2 Remake's take on the knife. So while the extra versatility adds more variety to Resident Evil 4's combat formula, it's not without some resource management considerations. Also new to Resident Evil 4 Remake is the addition of storage, a staple in many other installations of the franchise, but omitted from the original RE4. Whenever Leon visits a typewriter, the player can now store items there. This is significant considering that if you ran out of room in your case in the original, you'd have to sell or abandon those items, which sometimes meant parting ways with weapons too. For even more about the changes coming to the remake, check out our video Resident Evil 4 Remake 11 Things We Learned From The New Gameplay. Resident Evil 4 Remake is being developed and published by Capcom. 
The project reportedly began development in 2018 with M2, a Capcom-backed studio started by the former CEO of Platinum Games. The project was then shifted over to Division 1 in early 2021, where many of the developers that worked on the RE2 remake returned for the remake of RE4. Among that returning crew is Yashihiro Ampo, who led the charge as director in 2019 and takes the driver's seat again for this project. Yoshiaki Hirabayashi is riding beside him and has taken the honor of being the game's producer. Resident Evil 4 is coming to PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, Xbox One, Xbox Series X and S, and PC via Steam on March 24th, 2023. The game will have three different versions to choose from, Standard, Deluxe, and Collector's Edition. The Standard Edition will cost 60 USD and only includes the base game. However, pre-ordering this edition of the game on any platform will give you access to the gold attache case and the handgun ammo charm. The deluxe edition of the game costs 70 USD and comes with the extra DLC pack. This pack includes casual and romantic costumes for Leon and Ashley, a hero and a villain costume and filter for Leon, the Sentinel-9 and Skull Shaker deluxe weapons, the expansion treasure map, sporty glasses for Leon, and the original version soundtrack swap. And finally, the collector's edition. This version retails for 250 USD and comes with a product code for the extra DLC pack, as well as a handful of physical goodies. These include a steelbook case, the full digital soundtrack, an art book, a special map, a collector's box, and a figure of Mr. Kennedy. Players who pre-ordered the deluxe and collector's editions get the classic attache case and the green herb charm, as well as the gold case and ammo charm I mentioned earlier. Players who pre-order the digital standard and deluxe editions on PlayStation 4 and 5 will receive a mini soundtrack for the game in addition to the cases and charms associated with each version. Also exclusive to PlayStation 5 is a virtual reality version of the game for PSVR 2. There currently isn't a release date or window for this version, but when development is done, it will come to Sony's latest headset for free to owners of the base game on PlayStation 5. If you're on the fence about buying Resident Evil 4 Remake, you should check out the game's free demo. Revealed on March 9th during the Capcom Spotlight, the Resident Evil 4 Chainsaw demo puts you in Leon's shoes for the opening moments of the game and features no time limit like previous RE demos have. What's more, this demo is not exclusive and can be downloaded from any of the platforms the full game is available on. And there you have it, everything you need to know about the remake of Resident Evil 4. If you're a fan of the original, hit the comment section and tell us some of your favorite memories with the game. For more information on Resident Evil 4, including guides and our review, make sure you're subscribed to GameSpot on YouTube and keep an eye on GameSpot.com for more updates.